How's everybody doing tonight? Everybody's all right? Before I start my show, I'd like to give it up for my personal stylist and sponsors, the clearance rack. Give it up, please. <laughs> Couldn't have done this outfit without you. Y'all give it up for me. Just had my first baby girl. Give it up for that baby girl. Yes. Had this great vacation plan before I got the news. I would spend a week in Italy. I would spend a weekend in Jamaica. I would close out my trip, Miami, Florida. Found out about that baby, now I'm going to St. Louis, Missouri. <laughs> Kmet City, Illinois. <laughs> Hopefully I can go to Atlanta. <laughs> Love my daughter, man. Love my daughter, she's something else. Now I realize I got to be a real parent. I got to be a strong parent, not one of them lazy parents. The other day I was at the gas station. This lazy woman, five feet from the window, making her son buy cigarettes. You ruining that boy. He don't know nothing about cigarettes. But see, he, she gave him all the different options just in case they didn't have her brand. You know, he get out of the car. <laughs> My mom said, <laughs> my mom said, she want to pack a new port longs in the box. If you ain't got no new port longs in the box, my mom said, she'll take a pack of cool mouth menthols in the blue box. You ain't got no cool mouth menthols in the blue box. My mom said, she'll take a pack of Salem. Lazy parents. Hate to say it, but the next day I saw the same little boy buying a bag of weed for his mother. And it hurt me as a parent. I said, this is wrong. But then I paid close attention. I realized this little boy had done this before he knew what he was doing. He got out the car. in the bag. You're like, wait a minute. Ain't I'm supposed to pick my own? That's right. You're supposed to give me three or four bags. And out of the three or four, I'm supposed to pick one. So go back in the bushes. That's all you Serious problem in America. We have an obesity problem. 
Now, I'm not talking about the people that have medical issues. That's a medical issue. I'm talking about that woman that had that baby that is now a grown man that is still talking about the weight. I'm talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to hide with your outfit. You're not fooling us, people. <laughs> if you know your size, just go out on the limb and buy it for a change. <laughs> I know it's confusing why you shopping, but what look good on that mannequin ain't got nothing to do with your body, so please keep it real. <laughs> Women, if you wear size 20, you buy that 20, that's your 20. Because if you buy the 18, the 2 is bound to poke out somewhere. You can't, <laughs> you can't deny that 2. <laughs> your outfit has just become a mathematical equation. With a remainder of two. <laughs> what are you gonna do with the two? I mean, it's not like you wanna carry the two. You don't wanna carry that. You don't see it from the front. Oh no, that's too easy. She done tucked it on you. She looks good from the front, so I call her name. She turns to the side. There goes the two. She got this little ham hawk right up under her arm. Mm -hmm. It's connected to it too, because every time she laughed, it laughed. <laughs> yeah. You're not fooling us, people. We see you. We see you with your back out. It's only right for you to show your back. I don't care. Only right if you got a nice back, nice and smooth, respectable. If you know you had a real bad chicken pox experience as a child, traumatic. Just couldn't stop scratching, you know. You wouldn't, you wouldn't stop something to get that. your back looking like a pair of ostrich skin boots, a stucco painted wall, your back so bumpy you got blind folks walking up trying to read your back. enough sleep. I never get enough sleep. Seems like everybody I like is kind of like you. You right here. Yeah. Nice pretty smile. Nice little high cheekbones. With like two baby ankles on your face. <laughs> nice soft voice. Go to sleep and snore like a laid off construction worker. <laughs> Come on, deep snore. You, if you snore and you sound like a human snoring, but this last girl I was with snore sounded like she was in the back cutting wood, <laughs> hand saw. Cause you never hear the snore right away. It's always like you took a while to get comfortable. You found that good position. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, I hear. <laughs> <laughs> 